Good morning, New York City. <laughs> Thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. I am back in my apartment. It's January 2nd. We gotta take the Christmas tree down. But first we need a coffee, obviously. I cannot believe I'm drinking black coffee. I know the holidays are over, but I simply need to use the rest of this Christmas candle because it smells amazing. It's kind of wintry though, right? Much better. Obviously have to start the morning as I always do with my doing well daily planner where I plan a single day on each page. This is like my motivational side and this is the get after the day side. <laughs> So today is Tuesday, January 2nd. I wanna hash out my New Year's goals. I need to write those down. I have a few written down, but I wanna like make a complete list. Haven't decided if I'm gonna do a word of the year, but overall this week is pretty slow and I'm really grateful for that because it's about to really pick up. I have some things that I am starting, some new things I'm working on, and then also some travel. So I'm just gonna sit here and plan the day. I keep seeing TikToks with this app. Um, hold on, it'll go to it. It's called Done. Okay, I swear, yeah. Wow, she just shows it for a very quick second. But it looks like really satisfying. Obviously, I like writing things on my planner, but for like, oh, did you work out today? You have to like click it. I don't know, I'm gonna download the app right now and see if it's for me. New habit tracker. Ugh, of course you have to pay for it. Okay, I'm gonna try the free version. Let's just see what the interface is like. Popular habits, <laughs> brush teeth. Honestly, that's that's a good one to make sure you do two times a day. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. You can like make all kinds of different track during the morning and the evening. Yeah, I, okay, let me do more. Workout, I love that. Like some sort of activity. Track all day, yeah. Drink water, I'm pretty good at that. Make bed, I'm pretty good at that. Shower, I do not need to make sure I shower. Read, eat breakfast. Oh, okay, well you could also create custom habits. I was like, what? I don't even know what other workout is like the biggest one for me. Hmm. I simply cannot think at the moment, so I'm gonna keep the free version for now, and maybe I'll only need, you know, three habits. I think you get three habits and then you have to pay. We'll give this a go. Comment down below some things that you guys put on here. I definitely could put more. I can't think at this moment. Planner is done. Now I need to get up, make my bed, and just kind of get the day started. So I'm gonna play this playlist I've had for years. It's called Feeling Good on Spotify, and these are the vibes if you're interested. You can go follow it. <laughs> Alrighty, we got things to be done in here. Bed to be made, two suitcases to be unpacked, and lots more. Let's get started. <laughs> Yay, unpacking is done. <laughs> Just kidding, now I have to put it all away. And just like that, we are back to chilly weather in New York. I need to get dressed. We're going with thermal layers today. I got thermal leggings and a heat tech long sleeve from Uniqlo. Obviously, you gotta take the supplements. I got this toothbrush for Christmas and it's like Unreal that has AI tendencies so it can see where you tend to like miss brushing. I don't even know how it knows where I'm brushing, but I haven't really played around with it yet. D there's Daily Clean, Sensitive, Whiten, Gum Care, Intense, Super Sensitive. I just go with the Daily Clean, but yeah, this is the Oral-B IO toothbrush. <laughs> the skin has not been skinning recently, like, my, I feel like my skin is super just clogged up. I have that nasty thing, all this. Granted, it is that time of the month, but I don't get a lot of facials, but my friend Seb goes to Stahl Studios in Soho and she only says amazing things about them. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna go to get a facial right now. I'm actually getting a lymphatic drainage tomorrow. So at the end of this week, my skin, my face should be looking. But that's what the first few weeks of January are for me. I'm like getting my life back together. We're doing the facials, we're doing the treatments. I don't know, I just feel like January is a little slower so I have more time to do stuff like this, which I'm really grateful for. So we're gonna get bundled up and I'm gonna walk all the way there. It's like a 25 minute walk. I think that'll be good for me. 
I got this Aritzia Super Puff for Christmas. I love it. It's like this dark chocolate brown color. I feel like I'm gonna be wearing a lot of this color this year. Hmm. <laughs> ha ha ha. Pro tip, instead of wearing little earbuds, wear over the ear headphones and they double as earmuffs. I'm not even kidding. All right, we are all ready to go. I actually haven't been outside since New Year's Eve. So, and it's January 2nd. I literally didn't leave my apartment yesterday. because I am completely warm from head to toe except for my hands. I just have to keep my hands in my pockets. Or I didn't I need to bring out the portable hand warmers again. My they're like rechargeable and they're so great. skin feels like glass. Can I please have an OPPA with almond milk? I just changed into this romper that I got from Aritzia. They were doing a site-wide sale or something crazy. They just had a lot of things on sale. So I got this because I have the short version and I love it. I just love a onesie and I know the lighting is terrible right now. But the time has come taking down my Christmas tree and I'm really freaking sad about it but like it needs to happen so I have this big old Christmas tree bag that I put it in and then I put a ton of my ornaments in various like boxes that I've saved <sighs> goodbye Christmas season I will see you see you this year business as usual. So I'm doing some laundry, just some towels. And also for Christmas, I got like real napkins and these really cute napkin holders. It was such a sweet gift from my mom's boyfriend because I hosted my friends for Friendsgiving and the napkins on the table were paper towels. And he was like, no, you need a proper napkin set. And it was very sweet. And it goes with the aesthetic of my apartment, which was really kind. And then for my dad for Christmas, I got such adult things. I got these dryer balls, which I already have some, but I definitely have lost some, so I don't know where they went. So he got me some more, but the key here is, and what he was doing while I was at home is he uses this thing. It's called Expressive Scent Fresh Linen Aromatic Fragrance Oil. And what he said he does is he puts a few drops on each of the balls and puts them in the dryer. And I can attest, because I did my laundry while I was at home, your laundry smells amazing, like fresh linen. So I'm gonna give it a go. Cause I always use dryer balls, but I've never thought to like put something like this on them. So uh, my towels and my napkins are gonna smell amazing. Okay, I don't know how many to do. I'll do three. I should have asked him. And I also don't know how many drops of this thing to do, but I am someone that needs immediate satisfaction. So I can't even ask him, I just wanna do it. I feel like three on each is gonna be good. One, two, three, in they go. Last one, one, two, three. All right, updates to come. I'm sure he just got this on Amazon. He loves Amazon. Off they go. 
The glow coming from the sun outside right now is so lovely. My apartment looks so much more clean now <laughs> just because I removed the garland and stuff. I had, I had a lot going on here. Why is this not shutting? Brooke got me this coffee table book for Christmas and I absolutely love it. But yeah, Christmas decor is gone, except for my Christmas blanket, but I'm gonna keep it there for now. I think my next step is making an element because I'm going to the gym today with my friend Cass. We're going to Equinox and I feel a little dehydrated. I haven't drank much water today. Let it be known, I can literally smell the fresh linen coming from the dryer right now. Something else I got for Christmas is this from my mom. It's this beautiful water decanter. And I just think this is absolutely so perfect. I just filled it up with some water so that when I go to bed tonight, I can just pour myself a little glass of water. I've always wanted something like this on my nightstand. I just think it's so luxe. It's one of those things just making your life quality a little better and make your uh, room feel like a hotel, which is always my number one goal. So I just put that there so I have it for later so you don't have to like fill up a water bottle or anything. You just have your water decanter there set up. And I'm already just so obsessed. So thank you, mom. It was a great Christmas gift. So like I said, I'm headed to the gym with my friend Cass. We both belong to Equinox and some of our other friends do. So we try to go to the gym together when we can to kind of motivate each other. And I actually had it in my calendar or my planner, if you will, to go to the gym later today. But her texting me was like, okay, I am definitely going now. So I didn't even know this, but Equinox has like 15 minute classes that you can sign up for, like in-person classes, I had no idea. And she was like, let's do the 15 minute abs and then we could do like a walk on the treadmill after. I was like, oh, that's literally my ideal workout. I feel like if you haven't been working out for a while, that's a nice kind of introduction back in. I have a feeling the gym is just gonna be packed today because I don't know, I feel like the new year, all the gyms are, there's lots of people, including myself. So I'm getting bundled up because I feel like it's chilly. Using my Songmont bag. I've got my water bottle in here. I'm also bringing this. I'm hoping to go grocery shopping after just to at least get stuff to make dinner at home tonight. We're gonna have a vision board night. I'm really excited about that. But yeah, I'm gonna head to the gym, meet Cass. I always love our gym time together. Let's go. Here we go, time for our 15 minute abs. I love that the room's all red, We're ready to go. workout and got to catch up with Cass. It was so fun. We did arms, we did abs, we did 30 minutes on the treadmill. And now I'm going to Cinderella. I'm gonna get some groceries to make dinner for just tonight, which is such an elite feeling when you're just getting groceries for like one meal. I don't know, it's fun. So we're gonna do that. Got some groceries tonight. I decided I'm gonna make a one pot chicken. So I got chicken breast. Zucchini, broccoli, a little chicken broth. Those are eggs for another day. Red bell peppers and then some onions. I found a recipe online and you just put it all in one pot, which is my favorite kind of meal to make. And it all soaks in with the broth and everything. And I think it's gonna be really good. Every other word. This is looking so yummy. I need to make more one pot dishes because this was so easy and then it's all just in one pot all together. Yum. Dinner for one. <laughs> I decided to use one of my new napkins. My meal, I lit this candle that Cassidy got me. Yum. I just showered. I put on some my skim PJs. I got these for Christmas too. They are so comfortable. I love them. Random Amazon haul of the day. I got this Wella Ultimate Repair Miracle Hair Rescue because everyone and their mother is talking about this and how it like changes your hair. So got that. And then I got this because I got it at home while I was in Tampa and it's so perfect. So I got one to have here too. It's just like a towel wrap with like the Velcro. So when you're doing your makeup, because the robe, I hate when your makeup gets on the robe. So this is like perfect. And then I got this, it's called the Glow Cube. 
and it's like ice in the morning and you just like, it's literally a thing of ice that you're putting on your skin to depuff. And I love, you guys know, I love a depuff tool. So it comes with this little funnel and you just put water in it and then you put it in the freezer. Once frozen, remove lid and place under running water to activate. Glide on to clean skin in the morning for an instant glow or use over serums. I just think this is gonna be an amazing treat in the morning. So I wanna fill this up so I can do it in the morning. It's okay, I'm just gonna use the sink water. I love that it comes with a little funnel. It's so cute. Also, the dinner was delicious, by the way. It was so filling and so perfect, okay? I've been looking forward to this all day. I poured myself a nice big old glass of kombucha in a wine glass and got all cozy, like I was saying and I'm on Pinterest now. We are making our 2024 vision board. I've made vision boards before and I feel like I just never tuned back into them. I never really looked at them throughout the year. I maybe looked at them the first week of January. And so that's why I don't think last year I even made a true vision board, but we're gonna make a vision board and I'm gonna get this thing printed and I'm gonna put it somewhere in my apartment where I see it a lot. I'm also thinking to make it like my background on my computer. I saw Brooke did that. Maybe my iPhone lock screen, just kind of put it everywhere until I get tired of it. I think there is something to be said for visualizing things. And I was kind of teetering with the idea of, okay, do I do magazines or do I do like the Pinterest route? I love doing magazines and it's really fun, but then you're very limited to like what's in those magazines. And it kind of feels like a waste to just go buy magazines and then cut, I don't know. So, I've kind of like the last few days been making a little list of things that I want on my vision board as I thought of them and I'll you know obviously see what pops up as well when I'm just browsing but I literally made a list on my phone um, and I'm gonna like search those images so I could get the exact images I want the exact vibe and I'm gonna put them in a collage and then get it printed so then I don't have to print a ton of photos and collage it I just make one and then I print it at the end for example here are some things I wrote down juicy skin aesthetic gym grocery shopping cooking I wrote nice ass kitchen, <laughs> sitting on the floor laughing with friends, skyline view, I'm probably moving this fall, so. Paris Fashion Week, dance, night flights, first class, Drake, <laughs> like just like random stuff. But that's just to kind of get the ball rolling and then I think as I'm going, I'll see things that I just really wanna visualize, but I just have such a good feeling about this year and I really haven't felt like this since like 2019. So I really wanna lean into it, I wanna be intentional, I wanna confirm my goals list. I don't call them resolutions, I like to call them goals, I don't know why. But yeah, I'm just, I'm playing Bonnie Vare. The vibes are very much so correct. And I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Welcome to my 2024 vision board. You know, vision boards are meant to be for yourself, but I obviously wanted to share them with you guys. Um, so a lot of it's very self-explanatory. Um, I want glowy skin. I want to cook more. I want that to be me. I want to be cooking more in my kitchen. Car jam sessions are so important. I want to do more hip hop dancing this year. I miss it so much. 10,000 steps. That's Brooke and I on stage for Gals in the Go live shows. And I just want more of that. That was like the craziest experience ever in New York. I want to be more active. I want to get in the sauna. I want to be near the ocean. Two mantras for myself. A new era of me and I am healthy. I just want to be glam like that. <laughs> Grocery shopping, sitting on the floor with friends, just laughing. Paris Fashion Week. Um, it was hard to kind of put everything in here. There's still stuff that I would like to put on here. But this, I feel like, kind of represents what I really want. Like, I want to be on set. I want to shoot some cool projects. I just, this is how I want things to look this year and I feel like a lot of it's hard to put in photos you know I want to grow my relationships and my friendships and my family um but this is more of just like a visualization situation <laughs> that rhymed so I'm really happy with that I've been really enjoying myself this is the playlist I bounced around a few playlists but I landed on this one I found on Spotify some songs I like skipped because it just wasn't the vibe, but listening to Adore You by Miley Cyrus while I was doing this was amazing and just anything SZA. So that is the vision board. I am so happy with it and this has been such a lovely night. Good morning. Okay, I think Glow Cube is ready. How do I get this open? Well, shit. Guys, I cannot get this open. I have been sitting here. I don't know if I'm dumb, like, uh, uh, I don't think I can twist it because it's all ice. Okay, I got it. I just ran some water under it and that kind of helped. 
That that's like literally an ice cube. Wow. Ice roller. Oh. <gasps> that is so cold, but it feels so good. This is kind of elite. Like it's a literal, wow. I will have this linked below. <laughs> it's Wednesday, which means we're back on routine, AKA I do strength training with my trainer, Jane, on Wednesdays. I'm excited because today I'm going somewhere new. She um, belonged or like rented out space at this other gym for the longest time in Soho. And now she's moved and she has her own studio. Like it's just gonna be her and I in there, which I'm so excited about. The main reason I'm excited is because I am hoping <laughs> that she will let me take Ox. And then, I mean, she said we could play whatever music we want, but like you bet I'm gonna give her my 2024 playlist on Spotify and be like, please play this. Like we could just play Drake all the time or whatever mood I'm in that day. Like we could just play it because before we had to, you know, obviously share it and sometimes other guys in the gym wanted like rock and I was like, oh, this is so hard to work out too. So we get full control of the narrative. I also really like my workout outfit today. I've had this set for a while now. It's from Aloe Yoga. And then this sweatshirt is my first time wearing it. I don't know why, because it's so sick. It's from Kai, Kylie Jenner's like company. She sent it, or she, <laughs> they sent it to me and I actually panicked because I couldn't believe it. So thank you, Kai. Uh, I love this. I think it's so perfect for workouts, especially during the winter. And then I'm wearing some New Balance sneakers. And then obviously a jacket. And we're gonna walk there and we're gonna have a great day. We're in Jane's new place. What's up? I was gonna say office, but I can office. Office. Like my office. Welcome to my office. Welcome to my office. showered yet because it's a hair wash day and I hate going on calls with like wet hair. It feels very vulnerable. I just made myself another cup of coffee. The Ember mug just comes in clutch, especially in the winter. So I feel like my coffee gets colder faster. So I just love how the very last drop is hot. I'm about to go on a very exciting call. It's a brainstorming call with a couple different people about a new series I'm going to start. Um, that I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna hop on that call and you guys will know very soon what it's all about. It's very me, it makes sense, and I'm really excited. I'm always wanting some sort of new project to work on. So let's do this. Call went fabulous, I'm so excited. I just, I literally showered, I blew dry my hair, used the Dyson Airstrait, that thing is my life. Um, I'm not wearing any makeup, but I'm wearing this long sleeve from Aritzia, a Goldie jeans, Orion belt, my New Balance sneakers, Zara bag, I've got some sunnies on. I'm gonna add a jacket, of course. We're going to face gym. I know I have like two facial things back to back, but this one's not a facial. They do lymphatic drainage, so we're we're getting after it, and I'm so excited. And then I'm actually meeting for some someone for coffee after our Cafe Lyria across the street, so, or like nearby. So here is the fit. This has been my new thing when I want to elevate my outfit. When it's a casual outfit, I always end up going for like a workout outfit, but this it's it's very comfortable, but it's still elevated. So yeah. Let's go. Back now, and I wanted to show you guys what I just got from Thrive Market. I'm so pumped because while I was home in Tampa, I was making my order for Thrive Market, and I was like, this will be perfect because when I land and I have no groceries, I at least have my Thrive Market goodies waiting for me. So everything I got is like stuff for your pantry or snacks, and it's honestly perfect. And it's so many of my favorite brands all on Thrive Market. So I'm gonna make you guys hungry and show you what I got. Okay, so I may have already opened this on New Year's Eve. I got Pirate's Booty. I got a pack of six, I believe. This is one of my favorite snacks. It was one of my favorite snacks growing up and it's so good. If you know, you know. 
One of my other favorite snacks in high school and still to this day, these are some of my favorite protein bars. These are the Think Protein Bars. This is the Brownie Crunch flavor. It's my absolute favorite. And I always just love having bars like this in my cupboard. So if I'm on the go, <laughs> I have something that I can eat quickly and it has high protein and it's so good. I just think Thrive Market is so convenient because you can get everything delivered. You can filter it out by dietary restrictions. It's amazing. Throwing it back, I got these organic applesauce little pouches. They are so good. And I like, I'm a child, okay? They're good snacks. They also have a deals page. So a lot of your go-to brands are probably on sale on there. So it's really exciting when you see a brand that you already love and you were gonna order is on sale on Thrive Market. Like, mwah. Another one of my favorite snacks, peanut butter pretzels. And I've had this brand before and it slaps. Another thing I really like is they have a buy it again feature so you can re-up on all the things you bought. Let's say you did a big pantry restock, then you just can go to that area and it's like, oh, do you wanna restock all these things? And you're like, yes, thank you for remembering because I can't. I got more peanut butter. I mean, come on. You always have to have a thing of mac and cheese somewhere in your pantry just in case you have a late night or whatever. And I was so excited. I've actually never had the family size before. So it's actually really nice if I have a friend over or Ryan's here and we wanna make mac and cheese. The little box just isn't enough for us. So when I saw the family size, I was like, you're coming home with me. Primal Kitchen ketchup is my absolute favorite. And I was really excited because I didn't know Primal Kitchen had a squeezy bottle of the ketchup. It, before I remember it was like a glass one. So the fact that Thrive Market had this, I was very happy. There's also fast and free shipping on orders over $49. I got jelly and yes, that is from the peanut butter. I do love peanut butter jelly sandwiches. These are just such great staples to have. It's apparently gonna snow this weekend in New York. So I wanted to have some pasta sauce on hand. I love Rayo's homemade marinara sauce. Clearly I'm a Primal Kitchen fan. Um, and these are two things that I just wanted to have anyways for if I'm making salads or meals. I got the no soy teriyaki sauce cause there's some meals I wanna make upcoming that require this. And it's always good to just have, if you're cooking meat, you can just add some of that. And then I also got the Greek dressing. I've never tried this one, but I'm starting to like more salad dressings and that is one that I like. And last but not least, I got some soup. I got some lentil vegetable soup. Again, I just, I get so upset when it's a cozy winter day and I don't have any soup in my cupboard. So, I got some, I really like this brand, Amy's. It's Amy's Organic Soups, so good. They have a ton of different soups, but I love the lentil one. If you haven't tried Thrive Market already, you have to go to thrivemarket.com slash Danielle Carolyn or click the link in the description box below to get 30, 30% 30 off your first order and you get a gift, a free gift up to $60 worth. So I highly suggest it. I think Thrive Market is absolutely amazing. Now my pantry is for sure stocked. So go ahead and join Thrive Market today. We got the vision board printed. They called earlier and said that it the proportions weren't right, so they had to like have a white border and I said that's okay. I thought they were gonna cut it. Okay, I even had it laminated and everything. Oh, it looks so good. Nothing even looks really pixelated or anything. I wonder how many vision boards they printed. Like this is nice, like it's laminated. And I bought, they had like some paint wall safe little mounter tape things. So I need to figure out where I'm gonna put this. I thought they were gonna cut the borders off, but I don't really trust myself to cut the borders off. I don't know, maybe it kind of looks nice this way. It reminds me of like Instagram years ago when we put the white borders on everything. I need it to be somewhere where I see it a lot. Honestly, a part of me wants to put it, like I could mount it to the back of that right there. Uh, it looks a little cluttered. I mean, it's gonna, we're here. Bathroom could actually be really good. Um, and since it's laminated, I feel like it would be fine when I shower and stuff. This actually looks kind of good here, except everyone that uses my bathroom is gonna see it. Everyone's gonna see it no matter what, Danielle. I did it. I put my vision board in here and I think it's perfect while I'm brushing my teeth, washing my face. We can look over here at my vision board. I've never done this where I like actually have it somewhere that I'm looking at a lot. I need to clean up my bathroom a little bit, but I'm happy. I'm really happy I did this. I'm glad I got it laminated too because I didn't have to flatten it. It's like thick enough that it was it didn't keep rolling up, hung up really nicely. I just put four corners of this like mount thing. 
Let's do this. It's 9.45, I just took some melatonin gummies and I'm gonna get in bed, read, and hopefully get some sleep. I went to bed a little too late last night, um, but tonight, hopefully I'll fall asleep a little bit earlier. I just started doing the turn down service. I've got my watercraft. I just freshly filled up and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I wasn't planning on vlogging myself like this at the moment just cause I'm like so tired and just waking up still, but I'm just too excited. Um, we just posted this sick promo video on Instagram for Gals in the Go. You have to go to my Instagram to watch the full thing, but um, we had Katie Lovelace, an amazing fit, uh, videographer, come film the show and like film this awesome hype video. Um, my dad's giving me tips on the shower shield I'm putting in my shower because water keeps spewing out. Anyways, we just announced three Three more Gals on the Go live shows next month in February, and I want you guys to come. If you don't listen to Gals on the Go, I think you will still have a really great time, but also I feel like a lot of you guys already listen to Gals on the Go. It's not a live podcast, it's a live show. Like we take seg we make segments, we have games, we have live audience interactions, we have meet and greets at the end, and it's a really, really fun night. Like it's just such the perfect girls' night out. So we have three coming up. February 2nd, we're going to Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm so excited. I did a meetup in Charlotte years ago and it was so fun. And I know there's so many of you guys in Charlotte and it's a pretty big venue. So I'm, I'm really excited. Actually, all three of these are big venues for us. February 16th, we're going to Toronto. I'm so excited to finally get to Canada. I love our Canadian viewers so much. I know there's so many of you guys. So this is probably like, we're probably not coming to Canada again for a minute. So if you live anywhere nearby, We'd love for you to come. Toronto's gonna be really fun. That's another big venue. And then Philly on February 23rd. We're coming to Philly. Really excited about that. I love our Philly people. And I'm just, we're really excited about all three of these cities. We really pushed for these three cities. These are not, like our team does not pick these. We fully are like, we wanna do these cities. Like we're just random like that. So um, we're really excited. And don't worry if your city hasn't been mentioned, we'll be doing more, at least a couple more this fall. Um, so yeah, tickets are going on sale. Well, by the time this video is out, the tickets are on sale on galsinthegopodcast.com and I would really love to see you guys there. Okay, I'm gonna continue drinking my coffee and chilling for a little bit. About to head to a Pilates class at Equinox. I've never actually taken their Pilates class cause it's not, they do have reformers, but this one's not reformers, it's just like matte Pilates, I think. Um, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm wearing the Skims tank top. It's like my favorite tank top to wear over workout sets, but it's just this brown workout set from Aloe. Told you guys I love me some brown. These are the high waist airlift leggings and I think I just need every single pair. And we're gonna bundle up. I have this 437. It's not the same brown <laughs> um, jacket just to have some layers. Except well, this just looks silly. Cause sometimes I like to start the workout wearing the jacket. It's two very different brown. It doesn't look crazy. And then I literally have a brown scrunchie in. But we're gonna bring this bag. I have some errands to run after I might do. My mom bought some stuff for my brother at the Roan store and she didn't get the right size. So I was gonna like return them for her here. And just some other things just bopping around. Today I have kind of a free day. So I'm gonna use it to do some organizing, get ahead on some work. Avoid uh, Don't be easy. We're back. I ran some errands for my mom because she bought Freddie some gifts for Christmas that didn't fit. So I like did exchanges and I'll bring them back because, oh, if any of you guys live in Tampa, I'm going back to Tampa for Gasparilla and I'm so excited. Um, if you know, you know, it's like a whole big party in Tampa. So I'm gonna bring them then. I'm like so chilly. I need to shower, but I'm also like, I need to run more errands. So should I shower? Cause I didn't like sweat too much in the class. Or should I not shower and stay in this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sitting here crossing out some things on my planner, getting some emails done, some edits for a brand, and then um, I'm gonna head back out and do some other things. I might go to Soho and do a little shopping. Brooke and I got invited to the sickest movie premiere on Monday. Um, it's the Mean Girls movie premiere, and I'm like, I need something to wear, so I'm, I'm so excited. I haven't been to a red carpet since, I don't even think I went 
to a red carpet in 2023. That doesn't feel right though. I think I did. No, I definitely did. But it had been a really long time and it is, they are the coolest things ever. I'm like, is Renee Rapp gonna be there? Is Tina Fey gonna be there? I have so many questions. So obviously we'll be vlogging that, but I need to find something to wear. So I think I'm gonna go to Soho and do a little shopping, maybe go to like Colt Gaia or Bloomingdale. I don't know, I need like a fit. So, and since I have a free day, it's fun to actually shop in person. Um, and I also have another trip coming up soon that I was gonna shop for as well. But that's kind of where we're at right now. Just showered and I just put on this fit. Similar to how yesterday I was like, I could dress casual, but I can also do like a little bit more of an elevated moment. So this is the exact same shirt as yesterday, but in like a dark brown. Same jeans as yesterday. And then these sneakers my brother got me for Christmas. They're like chocolate brown dunks. And then I'm wearing Orium Collective sunglasses. My hair, I need to do something to it, like to the shape of it. I'm still trying to grow it out. And I haven't been putting many layers in because I feel like when your hair's shorter and you do a lot of layers, I don't know, it just, it doesn't look right to me, for me. So, but I'm like, I kind of want to text Mads, my hair girl, and be like, is it time to add more layers in for some dimension? But also it feels like it looks longer when it, I don't know, you know what I mean? As for a jacket, I'm tempted to just do this again because I mean, it matches and it's just like cold outside. And it, it's all like cute, right? I think this is cute. Let's head out for the day. I have a return to make and I also have to drop something off somewhere and then we'll head to Soho. But I'm excited. I haven't been to Soho in a minute and I think it'll be fun. Maybe I'll try some things on. That's also why I showered. I was like, oh my gosh, if I try anything on, we need to have showered, obviously. So, yay! just bought this at a stand in Soho. I love these headbands. I feel like I'm a girl in Aspen, but $20, not bad. Hello, we are back. I found this dress for the movie premiere from Self Portrait. Trying to decide how I feel. I mean, clearly I, I really do love it. I would definitely wear different shoes. I just put these on for height. It's, I just think it would photograph really well. Like, with, like this is so pretty. It's like a neutral color. Would definitely get a spray tan, <laughs> but like that's so stunning. Um, I haven't really worn anything like this where it's like sheer underneath. It came with this like slip thing that you button to the, I can't decide. And like, what would I do with my hair? I really wanted to do an updo. I also have another set coming in on Monday, the day of the event, so we shall see. But I think this is a great option. I think it's super cute, different than anything else I've ever worn before, that's for sure. I'm trying to decide if I'm vibing with like my legs there. I mean, I think I am, if I wore like some gold heels. By the time this video's up, you guys will already know what I've worn, but. <laughs> yes, I did get something at Bottega today. It was something I've been thinking about for a couple months. You guys know how much I love the Bottega Mini Jody. I have it in green, a tan, like a neutral color, cream, and black. And now <laughs> I have it in brown. I'm so, I was trying it on with my like faux fur brown coat, guys. I just think the Bottega Jody is here to stay. I use this all the time. It fits everything I need. It fits my G7X, my phone, lipstick, lip balm, essential oil, perfume, wallet. It fits everything. And it's just so cute. Like I can't stop wearing brown. And I didn't have like a dark brown bag and it looks so cute too with like different shades of brown, like those shoes. I went in with a mission today. I kind of low key knew I was gonna buy this today, but I didn't want to hype it up if they didn't have it in the store. I was like, if they have it, and all they had was this and black. 
Like I just love different shades of brown and cream and I'm, I'm really excited. So I wanted to share this with you guys. And I was excited because until January 6th, if you got something at Bottega, you, you got the candy cane bag. And I did, I didn't know if I was gonna be getting one today because I've seen it on Instagram and stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but she's beautiful. I am not throwing her away. So Ryan is here and he brought me flowers. Very, very nice. I was, I, I had been needing some flowers in here. So thank you. And we're gonna make dinner tonight. And let's see these. We're gonna watch Saltburn, which I'm so. Have you heard about Saltburn? No, let's see these. Is okay. It, is um, this what you didn't want to do? No, I wanted to do that one. Oh, um, Ooh, actually, let's just make all three. <laughs> we're gonna watch Saltburn tonight. I'm so excited. Um, I've heard only amazing things, and then it's kind of crazy. So, yeah, but first we're gonna make dinner. The smell of onions cooking. Soleil. Alrighty. Yum, yum, yum. Cheers. Good morning. It's freezing cold outside. I'm headed to meet Megan Roop. She's in town. Um, and we're gonna do a private Sculpt Society class. I'm so excited. It's cardio sculpt, dance, like small weights. I love it so much. It's not easy. But it's fun, it's like the workouts I was doing. I was literally doing her workouts while I was at home in Tampa. So it'll be fun to do it with her in person. And, you like it? Mm -hmm. Ryan's here. And we're gonna go. Let's have a good Friday. I'm literally walking around my apartment with this headband I bought yesterday on my ear. Because I'm so cold, I walked back. The workout was incredible. I walked back from the workout with Megan and we were talking the whole time and like I had planned on my headphones being earmuffs, but then I was like, wait, I want to chat. So I got home and my ears were so cold. So I've just been sitting here for about 30 minutes eating breakfast with this on my head. Um, I'm preparing, I have a couple calls today. I have therapy today. I'm so excited. It's like one of those days where I'm like, oh, I'm ready for therapy. Um, so can't wait for that, Queen, my therapist. And then I have another call after that. And then we have some fun plans tonight. I'm going to see with Brooke, Ben, Ryan, and others. Um, my friend, our friend Kate Davis, her husband is a bull rider. And the PBR is at MSG this weekend and she invited us and got us tickets. And we're going to dinner with them before and stuff. So I am pumped. It's gonna be a really fun time. And uh, I'm like trying to figure out my outfit. She was like sending us what outfit she was gonna wear and all that. I know you guys probably can't take me seriously right now, but. Okay, it's so much later. Like I had therapy and then a call and then work, but about to head to Quality Bistro for dinner and then Madison Square Garden for PBR after. I'm so pumped and I'm happy with my outfit. Um, Kate Davis, who invited us, and her husband, Cooper Davis, who's riding the bull. He's literally coming to dinner with us. And he's riding the bull at MSG. Like, we're gonna go watch him. I'm like, how can he come to dinner? She was like, I mean, he's not on the bull that long. There's not much to prep, so he's coming. I was like, that is crazy. Like, I thought we wouldn't see him, whatever. So I'm pumped. Brian's so excited to meet him. Wearing this long sleeve turtleneck from Lululemon. A jacket, a Paris. Belt, a Zimmerman. I'm wearing skinny jeans tonight, you guys because we're wearing boots with them. They're from Abercrombie and then Dolce Vita boots. My new bag from Bottega, Oreum earrings. Slicked my hair back and a half up, half down. Feels good to be dressed. I feel like I haven't really done my makeup in full since New Year's Eve, so it feels nice. Let me show you guys a full view. I have no idea what people wear, but I'm just basing this off of what Caitlyn's wearing and she's kind of more dressed up because she's a wag, I guess, that you could say. So I'm going with her vibe. I, I don't know, I'm so excited to go to like a rodeo in New York City. Um, so yeah, here's the fit. Let's get the night started.
the next morning. Last night was so much fun. They really showed us a good time. We went to the after party and everything. That's the end of this vlog. Make sure to click the link to end my description or go to thrivemarket.com slash Danielle Carolyn to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. Mm -hmm.